makes a simple bump on the head become something serious. Here to help us understand concussions, including exactly what they are and how to treat them, is ER Dr. Adrian Heller. Hey, how are you, Doc? Thanks for having me. I'm happy you're here to talk about this because yeah. I, 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 there is a lot of sort of misinformation out there. What is a concussion to begin with? What's happening? So a concussion is actually a type of brain trauma. Okay. Uh, what that basically means, the brain sits inside the skull. Yeah. If the skull gets jostled, then the brain is obviously kind of getting jostled within it. Mm -hmm. And that can develop almost like a brain bruise, where what that is going to do, I mean, it's not technically a bruise, but it affects the brain's function. And that's what the concussion is, is that this trauma on the brain affecting its function. Okay. So that can happen if you get hit directly in the head, obviously. Mm -hmm. But also, if you get hit in the body and that causes a big jostling, okay. then that can certainly cause it too. So it doesn't need to be a hit to the head to cause it. It can be sort of just like a big whiplash too. Okay, so you get hit and you, you take a big body hit or you hit your head. How do you know if it's a concussion or not? So there's kind of your obvious symptoms and then your more subtle ones. And that's what okay. makes things a bit tricky. So the obvious ones are if you're knocked out, if you're feeling really clumsy, repeating your questions, don't mm. really remember what happened. Mm -hmm. Then we're kind of into the more obvious, you know, let's not mess around. Let's be immediately aware. Yes. The subtle stuff is where it gets tricky. So if you have uh, just a headache, sometimes there can be bright lights bothering you. Mm -hmm. um, you might find that you're a little more moody than usual. You can have poor sleep, okay. uh, a little bit dizzy. So there's a lot of subtlety. And what gets tricky there is that it isn't even necessarily immediate. They can right. slowly come on or even the next day you might start feeling it. Okay. So really, if you're hit in the head or if you just have a bad hit to the body, you shake your head around mm -hmm. and you're playing sports or if it's, you know, just your day to day, take it easy after that. You shouldn't continue on. It's better to play it safe. Okay, so you take it easy, but do you actually go see a doctor? Like, do you, should you actually go and admit yourself to ER every time you get a, a big hit to the head? Yeah, so that's a great question, and it's one that we kind of think about a lot, about, okay, when actually should you go? Yeah. So I think you should see a doctor, period, if you have a concussion at some point. If you think you have a concussion? If you think you have a concussion. Okay, because so, you wouldn't know for sure, right? No, and that's kind of the doctor's role, right, is mm -hmm. making sure that, yeah, that actually is what's going on here. Mm -hmm. And to say, okay, this is how you should treat it appropriately if that is what's going on. Yeah. Now, beyond that, the question is, when do you go to the eMERGE? Mm -hmm. So, if you have those obvious symptoms, if you're having, a, if you get knocked out, if you're remaining confused, if mm -hmm. you're remaining drowsy, what we do in the emergency room is rule out the really scary stuff. Like, is there bleeding in the head? Yeah. Is there a fractured skull? Right. Now, those are very severe presentations. Yeah. And we want to rule those out. So if you have those other symptoms, then certainly we should come and, you should come and see us right away. Okay. And really, I say if you've been knocked out, you should come right away. The uh, subtle okay. stuff, yeah. maybe go see your family doc. Okay, got it. So you have to keep track of that. What about the whole thing about, um, you know, knock, don't go to sleep if you got hit in the head because you have to be woken up repeatedly. Like, is that true? Should you be doing that if your child is a... You know, yeah. playing sports and they get a big you know, hit. We used to say that a lot. I don't think it's necessary now. No. If you're so drowsy that you can't wake up, then certainly you should be at the hospital. But that's not really going to sneak by anybody. Yeah. Really, sleep is part of the recovery, and I don't think that you have to be woken up every two hours or something like that. Okay. All right. So taking it easy is a big part of it. How long does it usually take to recover? from something like a concussion? So, you know, it's hard to say. It's quite variable. Really, the key to the recovery, I'd say, is that you should take two days mm -hmm. where you're really taking it easy. Okay. That means brain rest. It should be boring. And what do you mean by brain rest? Can you read? So, I say reading, eh, it depends on how it makes you feel. If it's triggering your symptoms, really take it easy. Okay. You don't want to watch loud movies. You certainly don't want to be going like spin class. Right. Even walking around the block <laughs> is probably like, hey, maybe this is your good opportunity to be lazy. Okay. So stay off screens. Exactly. So stay off screens. Yeah. Do that for two days. Okay. And then you can slowly start building up again. So okay. take 30 minute chunks. Yep. Where you do a little bit of activity. And as long as that's not making your symptoms worse mm -hmm. or developing new symptoms, then the next day, as long as you're still feeling okay, then you can add another 30 minutes or increase your intensity a little bit. Okay. Your that, brain has to heal like anything else on your body. Absolutely. Right? If it gets a bruise. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. What were you going to say? So I was just going to say, so as far as the actual duration that that can take to get better, mm -hmm. you're probably looking like one to four weeks. Mm. And okay. so, you know, and... 
being patient is a key part of that recovery. Yeah. Being a patient, being patient. <laughs> Be a so, patient patient. <laughs> there you go. Right? Um, so what that means essentially is that you shouldn't rush back to activity. Uh-huh. And if you're not getting better, you should probably see your doctor to say, hey, these symptoms aren't improving. What can I do to do to, to improve my recovery so that things don't linger? Okay, really good. Thank you for that, Dr. Absolutely. Heller.